true Christians and genuine worshippers of Jehovah want to be loyal to Jehovah God, his son Jesus, and what is written in the Bible. The Bible says that Christians must love their brothers, but it also tells us how Jehovah feels about those who claim to be his people but deviate from the truth in the Bible and mistreat others who are trying to be loyal to Jehovah. How should a true Christian respond when those claiming to represent Jehovah authorize themselves to go beyond the things written in the Bible and make their own viewpoints doctrine that must be obeyed? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 15 verse 9, It is in vain that they keep worshipping me because they teach commands of men as doctrines. He was quoting the prophet Isaiah who said in chapter 30 verse 10, They say to the seers, do not see, and to the visionaries, do not tell us truthful visions. Tell us smooth things, envision deceptive things. And 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3 says, there will be a period of time when they will not put up with the healthful teaching, but in accord with their own desires, they will accumulate teachers for themselves to have their ears tickled. So the Bible makes it clear that if those representing Jehovah deviate from biblical truth, say flattering things to tickle people's ears, and give their words and viewpoints the weight of divine doctrine, then Jehovah and Jesus are against them and view their worship as vain. And how much more so is their worship vain when they hate and mistreat their brothers? Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 31 says, The prophets prophesy lies, and the priests dominate by their own authority, and my own people love it that way. And that is the shocking thing. Jehovah's people actually love what they are doing. They see nothing wrong and fanatically worship an organization and its leaders. This is what Jehovah says through the prophet Jeremiah in chapter 5 verses 26 to 29. Among my people there are wicked men. They keep peering as when bird catchers crouch down. They set a trap. It is men whom they catch. Like a cage full of birds, so their houses are full of deception. That is why they have become powerful and rich. They have grown fat and smooth. They overflow with evil. They do not plead the legal case of the fatherless boy so they may gain success and they deny justice to the poor. Should I not call them to account for these things, declares Jehovah? Should I not avenge myself on such a nation? And the question that we should ask ourselves is, should I turn a blind eye to these things and continue fanatically worshipping such an organization and its governing body? That same chapter, verse 19, says, It must occur that you will say, Due to what fact has Jehovah our God done to us all these things? And you must say to them, Just as you have left me and have gone serving a foreign god in your land, so you will serve strangers in a land that is not yours. They consider themselves Jehovah's people and brag that they have called themselves by Jehovah's name. But if they worship someone or something else in their organization, Jehovah will not turn a blind eye to it and they will be punished. The Apostle John says, Little children, guard yourselves from idols. But if a person is obsessed with his or her organization and believes everything it says is God's words without even checking if it is coming from the Bible, that person is an idolater and is worshipping something other than Jehovah. Their use of Jehovah's name 
will not help them to escape punishment for their idolatry. When King Herod accepted the audience's words when they said, the voice not of a man but of God, Jehovah struck Herod down and he died. Jehovah made it clear how he felt about a leader taking the glory of God for himself. We also see this from the example of Moses, who claimed he had provided the living waters to the Israelites. Jehovah was very angry and banned him from entering the promised land. Those who claim they have already entered a spiritual paradise are liars and prove that they are still part of Babylon the Great. Release from Babylon the Great could not have happened in 1919 if they were still using the cross and celebrating Christmas into the 1930s. And they are most certainly not a spiritual paradise when so many of them betray their brother and mistreat Jesus' sheep causing them to stumble. The Pharisees in Jesus' day had become obsessed with themselves and their dogmatic teachings. They had made themselves gods and had become an idol to themselves and those who loved it that way. Jehovah's Witnesses have done the same. The majority of Jehovah's Witnesses worship their organization and the governing body because they love the way of their smooth talk and their tickling of ears and believe that everything they say is the voice of Jehovah. Most don't even check if what has been said really comes from the Bible. They don't need to because their viewpoint of the governing body is so fanatic and idolatrous that they praise it like they praised King Herod. They also agree that the modern part of the slave is correct to glorify itself like Moses did. They believe that Jehovah has somehow changed and that the governing body has some kind of special allowance given to them. So everything we learn in the Bible must be disregarded because they are so special. They are very, very wrong. The answer is clear. No genuine worshipper of Jehovah and true Christian should be idolizing an organization. Only Jehovah should be worshipped. The name of our God Jehovah is being reproached and dirtied by an organization that is filled with hypocrites, liars and slanderers. Those who have taken the name of our God and put it on themselves are not worthy of his name. We who love Jehovah's name must do all we can, if we can, to remove our God's name from such apostates who have no fear of it. Jesus prophesied about them when he said, many will betray one another and will hate one another and many will be stumbled. Jehovah is watching them, stumbling Christ's sheep while they brag about having Jehovah's name on them. Acts chapter 19 verse 15 says, The wicked spirit said to them, I know Jesus and I am acquainted with Paul. A demon can witness about Jesus, but it does not mean he is good or a Christian. Being a Jehovah's witness does not mean the person is necessarily a true worshipper of Jehovah or a genuine Christian. Jehovah's name is being misused by false Christians who hate their brother. The Jehovites of Empire of Jehovah are Jehovah's Witnesses and also genuine worshippers of Jehovah and true Christians. It is our determination to sanctify Jehovah's name and worship him in spirit and truth. Join us by subscribing to this channel, joining the members area of EmpireofJehovah.org and visiting our Facebook page.